This other marksman here is not distracted, and he's pinned this bee to the surface of the hive near some gems. This represents antibodies against the surface antigen. This is the exact same idea as represented by the arrows shooting the surface of that first beehive in the background. If there are antibodies against the surface antigen, then the patient has immunity. You may have already realized this, but surface antibodies can come from vaccination or through fighting off the viral infection yourself. This means that if you see anti-surface antibodies, you don't know whether or not the patient obtained these antibodies through vaccination or from an old infection. Now look at this woman here. She was just trying to warn those men with the arrows shooting the hive that the bees were going to come attack them soon. Unfortunately, her warning drew these two bees toward her instead. Look at them ready to attack this well-intentioned villager. This woman's wearing a scarlet letter. This is the recurring symbol for sexually transmitted diseases. So hepatitis B can be transmitted through sexual intercourse. And this woman happens to be pregnant. This represents the fact that hepatitis B can cross the placenta and infect the fetus. This sister of the pregnant woman was also out to warn those guys. Even though she is sick and on this IV drip, she felt a duty to warn them. Hepatitis B can also be transmitted through IV drug use. And we wanted to help you remember this by having her on that IV drip. She's obviously pretty sick, so she keeps that IV medicine dripping into her at all times. So again, hepatitis B can be transmitted sexually or through the placenta or through IV drug use. Now we see a long branch with a bird's nest on the end. We like to use eggs in a nest like this to represent incubation, like cute little incubating chicken eggs. The fact that the branch is long indicates the incubation period is long. So from the time the patient contracts hepatitis B, to the time that they have active infection, it's considered long. All right, now let's move on to discuss the possible clinical outcomes of hepatitis B. 